Welcome to a real day in the life of a Division I student athlete. 4.30 a.m., time to wake up. No, fuck! 5 a.m., strength and conditioning. Let's go, get up! One, two, let's go, quicker, let's go! Oh, I'm all day. 45, let's go, let's all push my way up the same. I'm sorry! You chicken sh Let's go, get it up! You're not gonna win a game this year. You wanna win a ring? Let's go, keep going. What is that, two? Give me eight more. Let's go. You're so weak, I can't even stand it. I can't even look at you right now. You're so weak. Get it off your chest. Let's go. You're so soft. Oh my God, you're soft. You're charming soft. I wipe my, all right, let's go. One minute. Let's go. Get that core tight. Get up. Let's go! You got 30 more seconds, let's go! Get up! Engage your core, let's go! Oh my god. Disgusting. Alright, get down and back in four seconds, ready? Hurry! Let's go! Two, one! No good. Back on the line, not even close. Ready? What the hell is this, LeBray? Get off my line! Get off! Ready? Faster! Two! One! Come on, Cole! We're gonna be here all day. Nobody can do this in four seconds, man. Come on. What do you mean? I woke up at three this morning. I had two cups of coffee, came out here and did it myself five times. Let's go. I even made breakfast for my wife and my kids, took them to school, came back here, got some work done, and now I'm watching you just half ass. So let's go. Alright! Come on! Faster! Alright, two down backs, ready? Let's go, let's go! We're on pace, let's go! Wait! No way! Everyone get back! LePray missed the line! Shocker! What a shocker! LePray's cutting corners! If you don't want to be here, just go home! Sorry guys, I got this! Let's go! You know what? Since LePray's yelling, we're adding two more on. Okay, okay! Okay! Ready? 6.30 a.m. It's time for practice. Nice shot, Thomas! What the hell do you think you're doing? What's up, coach? You got your sweatshirt off. Coach, the gym's just a little cold today. Is it cool if I wear the sweatshirt today? No, it's not. Take your sweatshirt off. The only one wearing a sweatshirt is me. I don't care. Who do you think you are, Carmelo? Take it off. Let's go. Sassy little bitch. Why is your jersey untucked? Oh, sorry, coach. Sorry, coach. Tuck it in. Let's go. Sorry, sorry. I'm about to start practice. Here we go. Here we go. I got it. Oh, gosh. My shoulders are on fire, coach. That lift was crazy. It's okay, first shot. Oh! Damn. Sorry, What's Cole. going on, LaPray? I can't, oh, I can't find it. I don't know. Oh! Let's go, wall him up, LaPray. Let's go, wall him up. There you go. Nice, good shot, Morgan. LaPray, on the line. LaPray. All right, fellas, bring it in. It's 7.55 right now. Make sure you get to class on time at eight. Make sure you eat, shower, get some treatment, finish up your homework. We're going to be doing class checks. If none of you are there, you're going to run afterwards. Be back here at 2 for another practice. Let's go. It's 7.55. I've got five minutes to shower, run to class, and grab breakfast. I decided to grab a protein bar and an apple. 8 a.m. Econ class. I make it to class right as it starts, but... I forgot we have a test today. The professor was generous enough to give us 30 minutes to study before the test. So I'm going through all my notes. I'm studying everything I can. Then all of a sudden, the adrenaline from practice and rushing to class leaves my body. I start to get tired. I start to get cold. I throw a sweatshirt on. A hat on. Then... The tiredness hits. I can't control it. My head is nodding back, falling asleep in my chair. I grab an apple as my only source to keep me awake, trying my hardest to act like I'm at full attention. It's test time, and somehow, I make it through the test, I kill it. I leave class feeling empowered. And then reality strikes. I have another class in 10 minutes at the bottom of campus. I must start the sprint. 10 a.m., Spanish class. Still no time to grab breakfast. 
I eat the protein bar as my only source of food. Then the hunger gets real. I have to leave to grab something to eat. Of course, just my luck. Coaches are coming around for class check right as I leave to grab food. He sees I'm not there and gives me a call. Pray. Where is he? Coach, do not answer. Coach, do not answer. I decline his call out of fear. get back to class and I still haven't grabbed food. I do the thing any good teammate would do. I send a text in the group message letting them know that coaches are coming around for class check and just hoping they haven't made the same mistake as I did. 12 p.m. Lunch. Finally a chance to eat. We have officially entered the afternoon. My fellow students are just now waking up and walking to their one and only class for the day because their academic advisor has them on pace to graduate in four years while mine has me on pace to graduate in three years with all the summer courses I'm taking right now. What's good, bro? Hey, that party was sick last night, man. 1 p.m. Do I nap or get treatment? This is the hardest decision of the day. I can get treatment and work on my body before practice and get warmed up properly or take a 30 minute nap to catch up on sleep. I decide to go with treatment to work on my body and impress the coaches that I can perform with only 30 minutes of sleep a day. Hey, what's good, bro? What's good, bro? Ready for this film? Yeah, man. Lock in. Man, my legs are so sore. Man, that lift earlier was crazy. Yo, bro, you seen the freshmen? Uh, I thought they were with you. I thought they were with you. Here, let me call him. He's not answering. But I know exactly where they are. They chose to sleep instead of get treatment. Yo, coach is gonna be pissed. There's five minutes till the film starts. They're doing this. They're gonna make us run, man. Man, screw it, bro. I'm gonna have to go get them. You just stall for me for like five minutes, okay? Well, what am I supposed to do? Bro, come on, wake up! Hey, bro, we got four, five minutes, come on! Coach is gonna be pissed, let's go! Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Gentlemen, it's 2.15 now, and we finally have the freshmen here. Seniors, it's your responsibility to get everyone here on time! Coach, we're sorry it won't happen again, we're so sorry, we're just so tired from all the class and everything, like, we're, we're so sorry. Sorry, Coach. Sorry. And LaPray! Where were you during class today? Coach, I'm sorry, I was just so hungry, man. I didn't have any breakfast this morning before weights and practice. I'm sorry it won't happen again. None of that matters. You should have eaten this morning at 4 a.m. before weights. Coach Jones will make sure after practice that this never happens again. Oh, yes, I will. All right, let's have a good practice. Let's Here we go. go. Let's go. Usually after the coach yells at us like this, we end up having one of the best practices we've ever had. This is in hopes that it will limit our punishment at the end of practice. This, but in all passes. reality, all it doesn't do anything. Yes, sir, let's go, Mo. Let's go. We're back on the line. After 30 minutes of running suicides until our legs can't move anymore, we all enter the student athlete coma in the locker room, also known as the locker room nap. Welcome to the student athlete coma. It feels like we've been asleep for three hours, but in all reality, it's only been 15 minutes. There's only one thing that can wake us up. Oh no, not again. That's fear of missing one of our classes. Oh, it's okay, it's only 4.45. We got classes to start till six, so let's go eat some dinner. Let's do it. Bounce out. At this point, I've been awake for almost 14 hours and the last thing I need is a monotone history teacher. The 19th century, the birthplace of the industrial revolution. I mean, Come on, the dude's begging me to fall asleep. LaPray, 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 you're just another good for nothing student athlete. Get out of my classroom. Now this is for real. There's some professors that love student athletes and other ones hate them. Hey dad, just, uh, just calling, let you know I love you, man. Um, it's been a heck of a day. I am um, actually out of money because the uh, NCAA won't let me work the night shift at McDonald's. Um, I just wanted to pick up some change, but but uh, our compliance officer got pissed at me when he found out that I got I applied for the job. So um, if you could just send me like four or five dollars or something to help get through the days, that'd be great. I, I love you.
Bye.